Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another old school video on my road to 100 million clue scroll tab So I'm actually doing a master clue right now and I had to equip a full barrel set and just uh, do an emote here at the barrels chest So we we're also going to open the reward after the I talked to Yuri right here There we go the next master clue step and uh, let's see what the reward is going to be. Give me a barrel piece. Damn it Let's uh, talk to Sherlock. This is probably where my master clue journey ends actually 75 thieving. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's way too much of a uh, requirement for me actually. So this video is going to be about barrows and elite clue scrolls. So I will only record the times I get a barrows item or an elite clue scroll from barrows and I will then try to complete the elite clue scroll if I get one. If there is a requirement on it that I have to do before I can complete it, if it's not too crazy of a requirement, then I will do it and hopefully we can get some really nice elite rewards in this video or just really good barrels item loot so let's get into it okay so i ended up doing 130 chests ish i think 131 and you can see all the rare barrels items that i got right here on the screen and the elite clue lock was not that great uh first one here we go i had to make a uh, super defense potion so i had to get 66 herb lore from i believe 45 it wasn't actually that bad it cost some money so i had to sell my slayer loot tab but that's all good and i also had to complete the quest uh, for fremenic trials to be able to do another step and here is the first elite one and it was okay i mean i got a master clue from it so I tried to do that and for it I had to get the ghostly robes so I had to complete this small mini quest and I went to Sherlock and the next step was to uh, equip an abyssal whip and I could do that but then after that I had to complete the uh, elf's quest or whatever it's called elf city quest Priftina's quest and I could not do that. So I went back to Barrows after that, after I dropped my Master Clue Scroll, got some more Barrows items. And I think my luck on the Barrows items was actually above the drop rate, but my Clue Scroll luck was definitely below the drop rate. I'm not sure what the actual drop rate of Elite Clue Scrolls from Barrows is, but I think it's 1 in 36 or 1 in 40 something, and I only got 3 in total from 130 chests, so I think I was uh, slightly unlucky at least. And by the way, before you say go to Lava Dragons, I did actually try that, and I got PK'd twice in 30 minutes. Which I know is not that common because people don't really PK that much there, but I was so unlucky and I just couldn't really be arsed. I didn't really have a good setup for it either. But here's my second elite clue scroll that I got and I could actually complete that without any requirements. And it was like a normal elite clue scroll really, so nothing too interesting there. And uh, then I really quickly after that got on another elite clue scroll but this one was really interesting because i was like where the hell am i supposed to dig and i had to make a reddit post about it i was like what's happening i have to dig in the middle of nowhere and i couldn't google it anywhere it was actually for the fremenic exiles quest which i also am a bit too far off for being able to complete so i just uh skip that one so here we go 300 chests and i'm done what i mean by done is just i really don't feel like doing barrels anymore i did barrels for like two days three days straight and i only got three elites and one of them i couldn't actually complete so i'm actually going to try to get a kraken task because i've never done kraken boss and it seems really easy and i really want to do it so i'm doing some slayer now and i actually got a drake's tooth by the way from these just now which is like one million and i think it's fairly rare so that's pretty cool also, I'm not actually sure what is best, the Arclight or the Abyssal Whip for these. I've heard the Arclight is supposed to be basically the same stats versus Demons as an Abyssal Whip, so it's probably better to just use an Abyssal Whip because it actually doesn't drain any charges. But another thing is, I've done like 20 Slayer assignments now, I think, and I skipped uh, quite a few as well because I don't have any points left now. And I haven't got a Kraken task yet, but that means I've done quite a bit of clue scrolls. So I have some hard caskets in the bank, I think like 9 or 8 right now. And I have another hard clue in the bank that I want to finish. And I have two full totems I can make as well for two hard clues. So when I get a Kraken task, which will be in the next clip, whenever that is, I will then also open quite a few hard clue scrolls. I think this is assignment like number 25 or something and I got 88 Slayer so that's pretty nice at least getting a lot of Slayer experience even though I'm not getting the Kraken task. I think assignment number 32 and I get another Drake's Tooth for like 1 mil. Not sure how many tasks it took but 113 Cave Krakens and look I'm already halfway to 89 Slayer so 
quite a lot of tasks, unfortunately, but I have 10 hard caskets also to open in the bank. First, I'm going to do the assignment, and if anything interesting drops, I will show that, but this is going to be my setup, a trident of the swamp, some carrials that I just bought, and yeah, an occult necklace, obviously iron arrows with the magic short bow so I can start the boss, but yeah, let's go. Oh, dude, 23 kills, and I get a jar of dirt. Okay, uh, yeah, that is uh, quite an impressive drop, I guess. Not sure if I could be more happier with this task so far, but that is a Kraken Tentacle, which is like 500k, very good profits. Oh nice, an Elite Clue Scroll when I only have 9 left, so I'm going to finish the task and then do the Elite Clue Scroll and then open the hard caskets along with it. Well, at least I could get some Elites done in this video, so I'm happy with that, but yeah, let's get this one open first and then do the 10 hard, so let's see what the Elite one is going to be. 73k, yeah, that is very bad for an elite, but I think that's a u new unique for the tab. Let's get opening with the hard ones. Oh, 660k, Saradomi Dehyde Shield, really, really good hard clue scroll. Really happy with that one. 118k, clue scroll master. I'll try to complete that after this, but I'll probably not be able to complete it, unfortunately. But maybe, uh, maybe I can get some nice requirements that I can actually complete. So I'm going to just uh, get back after I sold the things I can sell. I can actually complete the first step of the Master Clue. I have the Dragon Battle Axe, I have the Slayer Helmet, and I have a Dragon Defender. So uh, at least I can do the first step, so that's going to be interesting. But let's get opening with the five last Hard Clue Skulls. 83k, 73k, another Honorable Blessing. Uh, 89k, nothing interesting. Another honorable blessing, three of them. Wow, that is. <laughs> and another black cavalier as well. And the last one is 142k berserker necklace ornament kit and a seraphim and coif. So I would actually say that the reward from these clues was really, really good. So let's see what the clue tab is currently worth. It is over the 10 million mark. So we've done 10% of the value I need to complete the tab. But you never know. I could get a third HP or I could get like ranger boots from mediums and just spike that uh, value up a lot. But yeah, 10 million in only clue scroll loot so far. I am really satisfied with that actually. But let's see how far I can get into this master clue scroll. So I've actually completed two steps, and my third step is I need to equip a Shadow Sword and a Samurai Full Helm. A Samurai Full Helm I can obviously just buy, but the Shadow Sword is from a mini quest. And I have to do Fight Arena before I can do that mini quest. So I will do the Fight Arena quest, the mini quest, get the Shadow Sword, and complete the third step. That's the Fight Arena completed. That's a lot of attack experience for such an easy quest. So let's get the Shadow Sword now. Beautiful, there we go, that's the Shadow Sword, I can now do the clue scroll. So I'm going to have to sell my Slayer tab now to get some money, I only have 200k, because it's 6 mil by the way, but because I got a Master Clue step where I have to get 80 Herb Lore and I only have 66, so I'm going to do that right now. Pretty sure this cost me like 4 or 5 mil to get from 66 to 75, only need 75 because with Brown Spice I can boost all the way to 80. Took me like 20 minutes and now I have the ranging mix and the uh, clue step is completed, so let's turn it in. Getting some questing in because I had to do a Throne of Miscellanea and a bit of Royal Trouble to be able to complete this next step. Surprisingly easy master clue, only had to get some herb lore levels and one and a half quest completed pretty much to be able to open it. So this is going to be I think my second master, let's see what it has. Yeah, second master, 400k and what? Samurai shirt and bowl wig. Two unique items, uh, it's going to look very good in my tab and 400k I will never say no to and having two more master clue steps completed that I can do in the future is nice. So just so you guys know, I put the 400k worth of stuff in here but the value was like 10.1 million two days ago or something and now it's just below 10 mil. I haven't removed anything, the value of the items has just dropped in some of them. So that will happen now and then and I will obviously just go with the flow until I get 100 mil regardless of if items drop or go up in price. But that is going to be it for this video. I really wanted to do more elites in this one but it turns out barrels takes quite a while and they don't give elites as much as I would like them to. Maybe I will get back to barrels in the future but yeah I will see about that. But hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh, also like it if you liked it.